again in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the sight of God and before his church to witness the union of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. This is an honorable state instituted and blessed by God in paradise before humanity has fallen into sin. In marriage, we see a picture of the communion between Christ and his bride, the church. Our Lord blessed and honored marriage with his presence in his first miracle at the wedding feast in Cana in Galilee. This estate is also commended to us by the Apostle Paul as being both good and honorable. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into inadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. The union of husband and wife and heart, body, and mind is intended by God for the mutual companionship, help, and support for each person to receive from the other, both in prosperity and adversity. Marriage is also ordained so that man and woman may find delight in one another. Therefore, all persons who marry shall take his spouse in holiness and honor, not in a passion of lust, for God has not called us to impurity, but in holiness. God also established marriage for the procreation of children, who are to be brought up in the fear and instruction of the Lord, so that they may offer him their praise. For these reasons, God has established the holy estate that Scott and Amanda wish to enter. They desire our prayers as they begin their marriage. In the Lord's name, and with his blessing. to also address Amanda, his mom, Scott's parents. Thank you. Thank you for the work that you did because the preparations that you've had since the day they were born led them to today. The preparations that you gave them uh, made them and helped to shape them into the wonderful, successful adults that they are today. God, Andrew Gephardt, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife? to live together in the holiest state of matrimony as God ordained it. Will you nourish and cherish her as Christ loved his body, the church, giving himself up for her? We love, honor, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, remain united to her alone, so long as you both shall live, if so then say, I will. This is a good start. Now, Amanda Renee Bondro, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together in the holiest state of matrimony, as God ordained it. Will you submit to him as the church submits to Christ? We love, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, remain united to him alone, so long as you both shall live. If so, then say, I will. I will. This is marvelous. Okay, now I'd like to ask the parents here, who gives this woman to be married to this man? Well, okay. It's unanimous. <laughs> now, before we go up, turn around. Turn around. Wave to your adoring fans. <laughs> These are the people who have loved you and cared for you and friends and family members who have somehow helped to shape you both into the individuals that you are today. I ask all of you now, members of the wedding party, family and friends who are gathered here today, will you continue to support, encourage, strengthen, and pray for Amanda and Scott in their marriage? remembering at all times that God wants them to live within their vows all the days of their lives. And if so, then say, we will. Now, really, you got to come up now. That's the point of the return. I take you, Amanda. I take you, Amanda. To be my wife. And these things I promise you. I will be faithful to you. And honest with you. 
I will respect and trust. I will respect and trust. Help and care for you. I will share my life with you. I will forgive you. As we have been forgiven. I will try with you to understand better ourselves, the world, and God through the best and the worst of what is to come as long as we both shall live. I take you, Scott, to be my husband. And these things I promise you, I will be faithful to you and honest with you. I will respect and trust, help and care for you. I will share my life with you. I will forgive you as we have been forgiven. And I will try with you to understand better ourselves, the world, and God through the best and the worst of what is to come. As long as we both shall live. Now, Liam, could you bring the rings up here, please? Almighty Father, you have generously created all things to serve us for our good. Send your blessing upon this couple who shall wear these rings as a constant reminder of their marital fidelity. Grant that by your mercy they may live gladly and faithfully in the Holy Estate. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Receive this ring. Receive this ring. As a pledge and token. As a pledge and token. Of wedded love and faithfulness. Of wedded love and faithfulness. Of wedded love and faithfulness. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Receive this ring as a pledge and token of wedded love and faithfulness. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now that Scott and Amanda have committed themselves to each other in holy matrimony, have given themselves to each other by their solemn pledges, and have declared the same before God and these witnesses, I pronounce them to be husband and wife in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. What God has joined together, let no one put us on. The Almighty and gracious God abundantly grant you his favor and sanctify and bless you with the blessings given to Adam and Eve in paradise, that you may please him in both body and soul, and live together in holy love until your life's end. Amen. Scott, now you may kiss your breath. Almighty everlasting God, our Heavenly Father, grant that by your blessings, God and a man may live together according to your word and promise. Strengthen them in faithfulness and love toward each other. Sustain and defend them in every trial and temptation. Help them to live in faith toward you in the communion of your holy church and in loving service to each other that they may enjoy your heavenly blessings. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord find you with his favor and grant you his peace. Amen. 
It is my privilege and my honor to introduce for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Scott and Amanda Gepper. 